Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to yet another FNAF news video. We got a packed lineup of news today. A lot of merchandise, a lot of news on some of the books, and also a very interesting update on the FNAF movie. Stick until the end of the video to find out what's going on. But frankly, we have so much to talk about, let's not waste any more time at the start of this video. If you're excited, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. It's the best way to stay up to date with what's going on in FNAF. And let's kick the video off by talking about the books. So some graphic novel adaptations are being made for the Fazbear Fright stories. The first volume comes out in September, and we saw some previews in the past about some of the stories, but we actually got some HD images of the previews the other day. The first one, as you can see, is of Into the Pit. It's Oswald going into the ball pit for the first time, emerging in the year of 1985. The second image is of Sarah at school, where I believe she trips, and the next Nicholas falls off of her neck and now she's transforming into the trash monster. Tell me what do you think of the previews in the comments down below. Let's move on to now Tales of the Pizzaplex. The first book, Lally's Game, comes out very, very soon. And I've been meaning to do a video covering some of the early reviews for the book, but apparently this book is very, very good. And as you can see right here, we have some of the most common uh, terms and phrases, you know, words in the first book, Lally's Game. As usual, it's mostly a bunch of names and proper nouns. But more interesting in terms of Tales from the Pizzaplex news, uh, the second book, Haps, actually got delayed from August the 30th all the way to the 20th of September. So about a one month delay, it's still pretty, pretty close. But that is all the news we have on the books. Now let's move over to some merchandise. Actually, most of the merchandise in this video is being released in real time. As I'm recording this video, we're getting a bunch, a bunch of merchandise, you know, reveals and drops. And the first one we're going to talk about are some brand new mining kits by just toys. So these mining kits, as you can see, come in very small plastic boxes. And inside of those boxes is like a small box of just a block of sand. Dig out the sand and find the figure. I don't know, it's a, it's a strange piece of merchandise. But as you can see, the figures at least look pretty interesting. We have seen these figures before, but it looks like they're in different poses now. And you also have a chance of finding a gold-plated Freddy figure. Uh, moving on now to some more leaks from Funko. In a previous FNAF news video, we talked about a brand new uh, line of merchandise being released by Funko called the Balloon Circus Wave. It doesn't actually have a name, but it involves balloon and circus themed FNAF characters. It's very strange. We still don't know if they're like Funko original characters or if they're going to be in, you know, FNAF uh, special delivery down the line. But it was leaked the other day that we would be getting some pop figures based on these brand new characters. So as you can see, FNAF pop figures are kind of making a bit of a comeback because it has been a long time since we last had FNAF pop figures. I think the last wave was uh, either the Blacklight Wave or the Pizza Sim Wave. Recently revealed today, we have the Summer Series or the Tie-Dye Wave from Funko. This is it. As you can see, we got some action figures of Tie-Dye Bonnie, Chica, Freddy, and Foxy, as well as some pop figures of them. Tie-Dye Bonnie, Tie-Dye uh, Foxy, Chica, Tie-Dye Freddy with a brand new pose, and then some keychains of Tie-Dye Bonnie and Freddy. And then we also caught... <laughs> these are interesting... Uh, some brand new plushies based on the tie-dye figures. Chica, Bonnie, Foxy, Freddy, and also a Funtime Foxy. Very interesting, right off the bat. I, it looks like Bonnie has new ears. I don't know, I'm not usually a Funko plushie expert. Also, why does Chica have, like, four tufts of fur going sideways? I don't know. I, I'm nitpicking, but this is weird. We also have some 10-inch tall plushies exclusive to Hot Topic. And then there's this dude tie-dye spring trap a walmart exclusive and wow he he looks he looks interesting i'll give him that yeah so these just got revealed today a very very strange wave of uh of fnaf products but i don't know man i just bought all of them anyway so i can't complain you know i'll make a video on them i guess when they come but man these are <laughs> We're in some strange times with the FNAF merchandise right now. Moving on quickly to some fanverse news. We've got a brand new trailer for Pop Goes Arcade, which is a brand new official FNAF spin-off game. It's available on Steam right now. There's also a brand new update for Pop Goes Arcade releasing. Kane said at some point today, it will include corruption hotspots, which as you can see in this tweet says they move between three positions per forest. Very high enemy spawn rate. Should cut down grind time by removing 
removing a lot of waiting between battles. A Gilded Pop Goes reward for 200% completion, which as you can see in this tweet, Kane says, yep, you can swap your hat out for a Gilded one in any of the bedrooms once you reach 200%. It turns you into Gilded Pop Goes with new colors, a particle effect, and it even changes your name in battles. Works with any paint and it's visible in the title screen and cutscenes. And finally, a way to force keyboard controls if your PC falsely detects a controller. This will likely be the last major update. It also has other stuff, by the way, not just those things. It also overhauls navigation of the bestiary index so that you can move the cursor freely. So there you go, that is what appears to be the final uh, major update for Pop Goes Arcade. Once again, it's on Steam. I'll leave it linked down below. Go check it out. Speaking of Pop Goes, if you didn't see my last video, we recently got the brand new evergreen office revealed to us. I'm not going to spend too much time on it in this video because like I just said, I did do a whole video dedicated to that. But I also wanted to point out something I missed in that video, which is a tweet by Kane saying, and as a bonus, we are working on adding a day night cycle for an endless game mode. The sky will change slightly over the course of a night anyway. Here is a test of night and day skies slash lighting. And as you can see, it is a look outside of the window towards the car park with stone the crow and you can see what it looks like when it's going to be dark out during the night and also light during the day finally some last pop goes news i thought this was interesting and i wanted to point it out someone left a reply to kane on twitter saying will pop goes arcade come to consoles anytime soon and this was kane's response it will come to consoles but not soon number one we might need to wait for evergreen first so it can be bundled like the egg collection so it seems when the pop goes games do get ported to consoles they're going to be what they're going to be under one big application where in that one application you can choose to play pop goes evergreen or pop goes arcade and also the console approved process apparently takes ages final thing with pop goes we've got a brand new pop goes plushie coming out pretty soon but it's also strange because based on the warning of kane's tweet it seems like he didn't really know a new pop goes character was getting a plushie kane made a tweet saying FNAF news, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I've just received what appears to be a real leak of Pop Goes merch that I had no idea about. Blake the Badger Funko plushie confirmed. Pop Goes Blake and Candy are all on GameStop. It says Canada in the tweet, but it's actually California's product systems, apparently. On top of this, my source says that a GameStop employee confirmed an early October release. Lines up with the original Funko Ween plans for all three plushies and that Pop Goes is a GameStop exclusive. I genuinely did not know about a Blake plushie so I guess I'll contact Scott. So that's interesting. I'm happy about a Blake plushie, but also it's strange to me that Kane didn't know. Now, of course, one of the aspects of the fan verse is that now Scott technically owns the rights to the characters of Pop Goes, Candies, T-Jock, Flumpties, you know, all, all the fan verse characters. So if he wants, he can make merchandise out of them. But it just seems strange to not tell Kane that, hey, one of your characters is getting a new plushie. Poggers, you know, it just... <laughs> It seems weird, but I'm happy about, about a Blake plushie. That's amazing. I hope it looks good. And now for the final news topic of today, we have a very small update on the FNAF movie. But frankly, any small update on the FNAF movie is a big update on the FNAF movie because we never get updates on the FNAF movie. So the other day, Jason Blum took to Twitter and he said, some of you fans are so harsh. It's very scary. I hear you all on Halloween trailer, and I hear you all on FNAF. Both projects are top of mind. We are working on both. And you got someone commenting, dangerously close. Jason replying saying that is correct. So hopefully, oh God, hopefully we got some news coming soon. I'm guessing it's going to be on the anniversary of FNAF, August 8th, since that's in less than a month. So, I mean, if we don't get something then, I don't even know what Jason's talking about at this point. We have been, quote, dangerously close to news for months at this point. So, man, I'm just hoping to hear something. I don't even care if it's small, like, hey, we got a script. Hey, we got a director, you know. <laughs> I just want something. But well, that's going to do it for the FNAF news video today. Tell me, what are your thoughts on the movie, on some of the merchandise, on Pop Goes, you know, the books, everything we talked about today. And thank you so much for watching this video. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.